Hi, good afternoon everybody. Um, I just wanted to kind of give a couple of, a couple of updates on what we are doing November 20th to the 22nd at the Gathering Place at Vancouver Island University. Again, it's Soup and Bannock for the Soul. Um, making My Life Count is our theme and, and we wanted to do that because um, I've met so many people, even in recovery and people um, in, in all walks of life where they have so much potential and so much to give and they, they were born with gifts but they don't do anything with it. And I wanted you to, to come out and experience what it's like to uh, participate in a workshop that has uh, solution-oriented material that doesn't make you feel bad, that's not based on issues, that's not based on um, the past. I always tell people the past is always going to be the way that it is, so stop trying to change it. <laughs> you know, because we can't change what happened yesterday, but you can change today. And and that's one of the things that, that we'll be sharing. And, and Awaken the Spirit is a program that is going to evolve over the next few years. And we want to bring new ideas into our communities that um, recovery and healing doesn't always have to be based on pain. Um, recovery and healing can be based on motivation and inspiration. It can be based on laughter. It can be, you can make your journey a joyful one. It doesn't have to always be stumbling, falling, getting back up, stumbling, falling, getting back up. You can have a good journey in your life. You can make, you can attract good things into your life. You see, and that's what it has. I always tell people that your recovery has a lot to do with the way that you've been trained to think. And there are some people that are naturally negative. Everything that they say is negative. Boy, it's a nice day out today. It's too cold. <laughs> Boy, do you ever look nice today? These are my rags. And they never have anything good to say about anybody. Every time you admire somebody, they'll find something bad in it. And those people generally are what I call toxic people. And what we have in recovery, there are two kinds of people in recovery as well. Talkers and dumpers. People that talk, talk, talk and never do. And then people that dump. How many of you guys ever have a friend come to you and you say, Hey, how you doing? And they just dump all kinds of feelings on you. And after an hour of them talking, they go, Oh, I feel so much better now. And you're saying, Well, why do I feel so terrible? Because <laughs> we allowed them to dump on us. So that's what these three days are going to be based on, is fun, inspiration, and motivation. Motivating yourself to get up and do and not talk yourself out of it. So many people start on a new idea and they talk themselves out of it. See, how many ever see people trying to lose weight? They do good for the first week, then what happens? <laughs> they start to talk themselves out of it. Or they create, create fault with the new to go back to the old. And, and that's what happens in recovery. When people make changes in their life, two things happen. Your change becomes positive and you move forward in your life or you find fault with that new way of living so you can go back to your old self because you don't like change. See, and, and that's what we want to do is we want you to, to learn some new tools and skills so you move forward in life and not go back to the way that you are. The thing about life is that there's nothing permanent in life but change. You're going to change anyway. <laughs> Why not make it a positive one? If you're a negative person, if you're cynical, if you're living such an unhappy life, what kind of changes will your future have for you? And the same note, if you're a positive and you're a happy person and you're just an awesome person to be around and you work on your potential and you find new, you're not afraid to take chances in life, what kind of future do you think you'll have? A happy one, a joyful one. And that's what I want. There was a time in my recovery many years back, you know, that when I used to walk into a room and used to say, it's boring here. And today, um, coming up over 3,500 days clean, I can walk into a room where there's nothing, no TV, no radio. And I feel at peace today. And they call that serenity. And that's somebody that's comfortable in their own skin. Most people go into a room and when it's too quiet, 
they'll try and turn on the TV or they'll turn on the radio because noise kind of gets you away from what's happening in here. You see? So that's what I want you to do, is invite you to come in and learn some new ways of living. Not existing, there's some people that are really truly living, and I find those people, and it's not many, people that really truly live, and then you got people that just exist. They're just there. And then you got people that are surviving, and they say it. You say, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm surviving. I'm getting by. <laughs> we don't want that, we want you to be happy. Live a joyful life. We, we can't predict tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I tell people, I sure hate to die in a bad mood. <laughs> I tell people, I want to be joyful. I want people to remember me in a good way. I want them to remember me for being that crazy guy that loves to have fun. Instead of that boring, negative, cynical guy that people just want to get away from. See, because I used to be like that too, where I was negative all the time. I was so negative that if I were to walk into a dark room, I'd start to develop. <laughs> anyway, um, enough of my jokes, but I, I want to do again, November 20th to the 22nd, Soup and Bannock for the Soul, making my life count. Time to make your life count. When you open the world, your mouth, you tell the world who you are. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to get up and start to do. Stop surviving. Stop just getting by. Stop living, you know, from day to day. Come out and have some fun. Three days of your life. And from here, I want to say, if you want to register, make sure that you, you register early. We've got um, both by emails. I, I think we've only got about 20 seats left. So if you want to get to this one, book it. Um, don't wait. Don't talk yourself out of it. Say, maybe it's something that I don't need. You need if it's something that you need, if you need some good laughter in your life, come out. You won't regret it. It's a lot of fun. You will belly laugh, I promise. There's some people when they bat, they laugh so hard, all they do is bounce. <laughs> when they laugh, they just, they just bounce. No, they don't laugh anymore. <laughs> I want you to bounce. Come bounce your way to Soup and Bannock for the Soul. You're going to see some offsets of this program in the next few months. Uh, one for single parents, one for couples, uh, one for uh, frontline workers that I really want the frontline workers to come out as well because it's you that are bringing change into the community. And sometimes, sometimes as frontline workers we get complacent too and we stop working as hard as we did when we first got our job. And as a caregiver, I tell you, myself as a caregiver, you know what your job is? To work yourself out of a job. If you're not doing that, we shouldn't be doing our job. You go into work every day and you're going to work yourself out of the job so that one day the communities won't need us anymore. That's my dream. You won't need me anymore. And the good thing is, I got something to fall back on. I got art. <laughs> so have a good day. Remember, if you will change, everything will change for you. Nothing permanent in life but change. And if you're going through a tough time right now in your life and you're struggling, remember this, okay? Bad times aren't here to stay. They're here to pass. Just hold on. You'll get through it. That's what life's about. The Creator doesn't give you anything more than you can handle. And I've learned that in recovery today. You know, recovery is a good thing for me today. I love being clean. I love being serene. Sober stats for a son of a bee, everything's real. <laughs> when we're drinking and drugging, nothing's real. So come on out, invite it, spread the word. I'd appreciate that. Thank you so much. Poster, poster on your Facebook. I'd appreciate that as well. Help us spread something positive instead of spreading something negative. This will help uplift people and not tear them down. They say that when... When life knocks you down, and it will, make sure you land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. Have a great day.